So it's been a frustrating go for me lately in my team mode. You guys saw last week's deal where Andre Blatch had a nice little dunk fest. But I picked up some new people, and I see that this guy's got Isaiah Thomas, Del Curry, Chris Mullen, a bunch of nice legendary players. It was kind of an odd team to see, and I'm just kind of getting into the, the swing of things and starting to pick up some different players. I'm getting to the rack with Damian Lillard right away and liking that, but it's not always good for him. He doesn't always go home and jam it down. I did pick up Kevin Martin, and that was pretty cool. I really like his shot, but I'm still iffy on whether or not I'm going to keep him. I'm sort of fleshing out the roster, and you have to do that when you hit about the sixth seed in my team mode. Otherwise, you start losing and things start going not so good. I don't want to load up with a team that's just ridiculous as far as value and just paying to play all these games all the time. I want to have a good, solid team that is competitive but still gets the job done. Damian Lillard hits that three there, and I'm pleased with the way that he plays, but I'm just kind of wondering if maybe I should just step it up a little bit and get that next level up. I'm looking for a three here with Kevin Martin. That's quite obvious. It doesn't happen, so I'm taking it to the basket. I love playing with him when I play in the normal like association mode or exhibition game stuff with uh, the Thunder, but I just didn't find anything good. Speaking of which, that 47 dunk intensity is a ripoff for Bob Dandridge. 2K Fridays needs better than that. Kevin Martin with a 53 on just a breakaway dinky dunk, so maybe they gotta fix that. You never know. What I'm looking at so far is a close game. He had LaRusso and some of those other guys getting in there and just really doing some work. They were getting out on the break. They were doing a little bit of everything, even throwing alley-oops on me, and I got frustrated pretty quickly. I said, man, I can't be losing like this. I gotta get going. Threw that one up the court just to try to beat the buzzer, and I didn't quite get it. So we're looking at a little bit of a deficit to start things off. It was a close game last week. We're looking at another buzzer-beating type of game this week. So I really took a, uh, a little bit of a chip on my shoulder into that second quarter. Got a seven-point deficit, and Patty Mills can erase that rather quickly. He's not going anywhere. That guy, that guy right there, immortal. Patty Mills is sweet. You got to love it. And now that we have my team's salary sort of staying still for a lot of teams that aren't in the playoffs I'm looking at some values and looking at some videos and putting some stuff up on two brothers gaming that will be permanent if you will until they decided to adjust values again that was a dumb play on my part led to a fast break and now we're looking at a 10 point deficit in the eye honestly the 27 points I don't have too much of a problem with it's a relatively high score given five minute quarters but I really need to do something and fix that. Oh, Dennis Rodman makes up for the dumb shot with a tip slam. I got to love having him on my team. That's fantastic. But again, I'm flushing things out here. Martin is a nice scorer, but he has gotten me burned a few times here on defense. I am. Uh, I just need to play better with him, and I need to work on the releases. Lillard and Martin are nice value guys for what they give you. Oh, look at that. That is just crazy, and that made Denver's finest, my opponent here, a little bit upset, so he chose to pause it and show what he thought was some BS. I, I just think that gravity works in mysterious ways. Okay, it's the collision detection. That was a glitchy type of thing. I won't say it was a mistake, but... I let go of the rim and it went in. I mean, I don't know what else he wants. I wasn't touching the ball. <laughs> I guess that would have technically been offensive interference. I don't know. Either way, uh, I'm starting to flush out people's releases, all that sort of stuff. JaVale McGee does not need a shot release because he's in there to dunk and derp and yell. So we took that 10-point lead and we cut it in half in just a few short seconds. And he's even going to hit the free throw. So we're pretty good. We're back on the, uh, on the good uh, half of things now. So that's good. McGee just takes about eight seconds in the lane, takes his sweet time, and goes over LaRusso for the easy bucket. But again, these guys will not give up. I was hitting the boards, but it wasn't enough. He was playing good, solid defense on me. And again, as I was saying, I don't have a problem with the score that they have as much as the one that I have. And I can't get off the boards, man. Come on. I need to take that one the other way. Let's go. I don't want to head down into that fourth quarter with a big deficit. We got to do something here. As you can see, though, he has Granger at power forward and really was a three-point guy. He was definitely a guy that was going to take all the three-pointers he could get. I blocked that shot, and, uh, you know, those defensive tips that I give out, I actually use them, too. Stepping back and stepping into a three is Gerald Green, so that's a pretty rare one for him. It's not that he can't knock him down. It's that he won't hit every open one, but Patty Mills has something else to say. Three. Beautiful. Now we're only down four. 
I hate cheese and threes, but Mills is just such a tremendous shooter. We get out on the break, and Gerald Green stuffs it, and now he's sweating a little bit. He needs a timeout. Those green St. Paddy's Day New York Knicks jerseys are drenched in sweat. They need to work on their game, and we are finally getting out on the break a little bit. I love doing that with Gerald Green, and I can get Blatch in there for a dunk. He was wearing the Knicks uniforms last time. This time, he decided to go to the other side, and I'm happy for that. Probably should have popped that three, but hey, whatever. He's still open. Bad defense on his part leads to a three-pointer that I think should have gone down. I thought that was a little bit of BS, but it happens. Sometimes you miss them, and he gets another layup. So now it's tied. And we are headed into the last two minutes. We're going to do a little two-minute drill, even though it's not football. And it's been quite enjoyable bringing you this My Team stuff. I'm probably going to play a few games that aren't on here just to accelerate the process. As we're heading into the real-life NBA playoffs, I realize that I've got a lot more games on the way. And if I do end up making it through this road to Jordan with Yao Sports here, I've got to speed up my gameplays a little bit. I'll be trying to do that. I'll either put out more videos on Yao or you'll see some more on Two Brothers Gaming. And I'm in the third seed with my other my team there. And I'm just loving my team mode. So it's a lot of fun. I know that you guys love it. It's by far the most popular thing. So we've got to make that happen for you guys. We're tied again. Nothing's really changed in the 35 seconds that I was just yapping through. And now Patty Mills takes over. Yes, I said that. Patty Mills takes over. Easy dunk there. Got cut off a little early. And he hits a three. Now we're only, we're, well, we're down one. Thomas Robinson gives him the good all up and under, and LaRusso bites on it. I spin the ball around on my head in happiness, and now we're here. We're in, in that back and forth mode, and this guy decides that he's going to be a jerk. I love the great sportsman that you play in my team mode, right? <laughs> so he says, ooh, I dropped you. Isn't that cool? And I said, ooh, I hit a wide open layup because you didn't play any defense. Isn't that cool? And normally I don't troll the trolls too awful bad. I decided not to do that and be a good sport, but he needed to see that layup again, I think. I just had a hunch he might like watching that again. We're up by one. It all comes down to this. Please play good defense. He's looking for the three. I jump three people in his face. Play that good defense. It's clutch. And, you know, I just thought maybe, maybe he'd like to see the arrow of his ways. Maybe he should have realized that there were three people on him and one in the background waiting to jump. But he said, nope, I'm going to shoot that three and hope that I can cheese. And it didn't work out for him that time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Kevin Martin was the player of the game, but you might not see him around next time. I had some troubles. Hope you enjoyed it.